What's up guys and gals, this is Roy from Roy's Customs and I wanted to show you a little bit about what I was going to, what I'm going to be doing with my ZX2. Um, I have sort of got it started, sort of, and um, uh, I've got these LEDs and I'm going to do some stuff with the LEDs so I'm going to kind of run you through that here right quick. Just wanted to kind of see what these things were going to look like. I did a little mock-up, drilled a few holes um, so that I can actually see what they're going to actually look like whenever they shine through. Um, uh, and I, I'm going to show you kind of exactly what uh, my plan is for these. Um, this is going to be my uh, uh, part of my uh, ZX2 project. Um, this is just, like I say, sort of a little mock-up. So I'm going to take this piece over and I'm going to kind of show you um, what the plan is. Um, so the idea is to take and cut this out so it goes in here. And then I'm going to backlight it with the LEDs. But I'll have to cut the bumper. Well, I'll have to take the bumper off. And I want to drill holes in here so that I can actually mount them from the back side. Um, like I said, I kind of messed that up, messed that up. So hopefully I can get this one cut out nice and neat. And when I drill into here, because I want to drill into here a little bit too, um, that way it's going to dull that color down a little bit and help spread it out but anyways get that mounted in there get the holes drilled get the led lights all hooked up um i'm going to try to find a circuit board or something to actually hook them to um i don't need like a voltage regulator or anything because they already have a resistor uh, built into each one so i won't have a problem with that but um Anyways, um, these are 12 volt LEDs. I got a package of them from Amazon. Um, there's 50, there was 50 of them for like 12 bucks or something. I don't remember. Um, you can get like multicolored packs, or you can get a single color. Um, yeah, the little place is called Trend Box, but it was on Amazon. So, uh, anyways. Uh, wasn't a bad deal for what I gave for them. Um, I'm also thinking that I might try to find a uh, clear tube and then run some down a clear tube and then mount them up underneath the car as well. Um, that way I have uh, undercarriage lights. Um, this will be way cheaper than going out and buying some pre-made system, whatever. Um, uh, you know, I won't be able to like change the colors like the fancy schmancy ones you can buy, but all I want is the purple anyways. So, running these for the undercarriage and then doing the little ZX2, I'm thinking I might do like the whole escort thing. Do it like escort ZX2, do the whole thing across the back there because it does have it, um, uh, is sunk in uh, across the bumper for the Escort uh, ZX2 part. But um, anyways, I got 50 bulbs. I got plenty to do uh, the whole thing with if I want to, plus the undercarriage lights. Because um, these are actually relatively bright, you know, in the dark anyways. Uh, you won't be able to see it in the daylight, but whenever it gets dark, you'll be able to see it. Um, I might just actually put them on a single switch and then have the undercarriage lights and the uh, Escort ZX2 or just the ZX2. Uh, I think I might go ahead and do the Escort Part 2 eventually. It's just going to take me a while to get there um, because I'll have to uh, make sure I have enough of the, um, well, obviously the... Uh, Lexan or or um, plexiglass or whatever it is that you're going to be using. Um, uh, 
I may just order a, a sheet of uh, plexiglass um, and then make it super clear for the escort part and then of course this part would be uh, the way it actually looks. Um, uh, this actually was um, an LCD screen, uh, the back lit portion of the LCD screen. Um, anyways, I think that'll look pretty cool being a different uh, kind of design than have the escort part be like super clear. But anyways, we'll see how that goes as we go along with that part of the project. Um, that's kind of like part of my custom thing that I'm going to do to my car. Also, I'm going to start doing some sanding and some primering. And I'm going to go around the whole car. I'm going to sand it all down and give it the first coat of primer. Then I'm going to look for all my little spots, dents, dings, stuff like that. And then just kind of smooth them out. And then uh, go over it again, block it a little bit to even it all up and then probably shoot it with another coat of some good uh, high build or some filler primer or something something nice and thick that I can finish blocking and then when it comes to the color I'm not really sure what color I'm going to use I think I'm just going to take it back to stock color and if I decide to do any graphics or anything like that later I will but I'm just thinking keeping it kind of the color it is and then maybe do a body kit of some sort I don't know yet but anyways just wanted to kind of show you um, this for right now so anyways um, Thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe and have a spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.